So client experience is critical in the legal industry as in other professions and businesses because our research shows that if you can improve client service and deliver seamless client service, there's real return for that in terms of client loyalty, repeat business, increased fees, growing clients. So there's a real business reason for it. Uh, in addition to that, happy clients tends to equate to happy staff and vice versa. So there's a real staff piece to it and staff attraction and retention. And finally, because client experience is so important and so on the agenda, the bar's constantly lifting. And so if you're not keeping up and moving ahead, then you'll be left behind and your competitors will steal your clients. Two things I'd bring to bear. The first one is, because it's client experience, is putting the client at the centre of everything you do. Whether it's your people, whether it's your client interactions, whether it's your technology and process, whether it's your skill development, put the client at the centre of everything you do and think about how would this impact the client? How can we make the experience better for our clients? So client at the centre is every, of everything you do. The second thing to be able to do that and to understand what clients want is client feedback. Asking your clients, how's the current service? How's the current experience? What can you do to improve? That will help you understand actually what experiences the clients want and how to deliver a seamless and excellent client experience. And it will highlight issues, friction points, and things you can actually work on to resolve back to your people processes, systems, skills. So those are the two I'd say. First of all, client at the centre, and secondly, client feedback, and also actioning that feedback. Great question, this one. Uh, there are always client frustrations, and it typically comes from not meeting expectations. And so if that expectation could be based on the work they're receiving, but the, the current matter and the content, if that's not properly understood what their desires and needs are, it could come from timing, being late and not keeping the client up to date. It could come from, and often does come from billing, where there's surprises, it's not the fees the client were expecting, maybe there were some changes and changes in fees and work required, but that wasn't communicated. So the negative surprises um, is a big issue and that if you can identify and fix issues is a, is a really good way to lift client experience. I, would, I was going to say client feedback but I've covered client feedback a couple of times so the other thing I'd bring in is client skills. Bringing the skills to your people in terms of how to deliver excellent client experience, whether it's from understanding the client's needs and asking the right questions, and that ties into business development too, through to discussing price and scoping, and again, setting expectations on, on that, and then actually on client service and delivery, client service skills, and also critical conversations if things do go wrong. And the skills are critical, and that's what we see in firms that are exceeding and succeeding on client experience. They're really investing heavily in client skills. And this becomes critical when firms get busy, people are busy, and when things start to go wrong. I think conferences like this are really important because people are busy. If you're working in a small legal practice, you're busy. And it's hard to take time to step back and think about your business. So coming to a conference like this with Spark with other people from small law firms, with presenters thinking about small law firms, it's a chance to step back, listen to some new ideas and new thinking, and then through your own thought process, match that with your own strategy, your own plans, your own issues. And if you can come away from a conference like this with two or three actual ideas, then, then that's a huge amount of value, plus the whole social piece as well.